All right, hello, Divine Feminine. Today we're going to do how are you feeling about him? How is he feeling about you? Maybe we'll do thoughts, feelings, and actions. You have Butterfly, and he has Sunpiper, and oh, nice. Hummingbird. So we have one, one, three, four, five, one. Bottom of the deck is Nightingale. One of my favorites it is about music. Love is all around. You may be getting some um, musical messages. Yours says transformation is beautiful. His says be playful. And Hummingbird is Be Here Now, which I absolutely love the colors of the that card. You have a leadership card. He has polarity. You may, you may be feeling a big difference in his energy. Celebration. And bottom of the deck is Courage. So there may be some kind of Gathering, celebration, holiday, wedding, where you two may interact. Coming up, it says a positive outcome is assured. Celebrate your success and enjoy your achievements. So it may be something that you're both kind of celebrating your own, how far you've come. You have 9966, I tell you, 1 1, and 7 7. So you have unification, aligning with abundance. He has beyond illusion, change your perception. In between is acknowledge, take responsibility. And then mystical messages follow the signs, which I don't know that I've had that card come out yet. Why is this not, is this not bold and right? Huh. Okay. So, big energies here. Nine of Swords, Five of Wands. See how you guys are, what you guys are thinking about this right now. Four of Wands, Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, Sun, Death, Magician, Five of Cups, Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, Five of Wands, Ten of Cups, Knight of Cups. Bottom of the deck is Wheel and Knight of Swords. Overall energies are very interesting. Slow return for a new beginning. After things have not gone your way. Hmm. So if this is sort of sounding like your situation, this might be for you. What is he thinking? He's having mixed feelings about the truth of this situation. I think he might even possibly be in denial of his feelings. I feel like you are in a very different place. I feel like you, I know this is not the meaning of the four of wands, but it does feel to me like you're thinking, 
I really want my own stability. I really want to move on from parts of this situation that make me feel not so grounded. Um, in between there does seem to be a mutual desire for stability and yet movement, stable movement, right? That's the Knight of Pentacles, slow, stable movement. He's thinking, I can't bring you any insight to myself and my sadness about the situation in an unstable manner. He's aware of that fact. So let's get this card here. I just feel like you're like, oh, look at that. I kind of feel like you're just done with any kind of secret or I have to figure this out, except you have Queen of Cups here too. There's a lot of mirroring here. So he's got a lot of feelings that he has held inside. And I often say with the masculine, you know, there's kind of an ocean of emotion inside and they're trying to like fit it all into the size of a bathtub, right? His whole side has to do with water. Whereas you're more about manifesting a new, right now, I would say it's in the spiritual realm more, but you do have swords, you do have wands, you do have cups here, um, and then no pentacles on your side, but two major arcana in your feelings, big emotions. He's got big thoughts about his emotions is what I want to say. And it was interesting. They had me read it all up. Sometimes they do that. And I think it was to show me that he wants this new beginning. You both want this new beginning. However, He's aware of the limitations that go along with that. Oh, wow. There are definitely limitations here present in this relationship. Bottom of the deck is periwinkle, sisters, cousins, star fairies, tiny treasures, surprise gifts. So I started burping when I said limitations. Despite the limitations, he still wants to return for this new beginning. The full energy along with the magician and death, those are very strong energies. And almost always they signify an ending and a new beginning, right? zero, one, one, three. And those are the only major arcana here. Oh no, yeah, those are only major, major arcana, except we have the sun here. So he's thinking, well, if we just told each other the truth, he is the one thinking if we just told each other the truth, he still believes that there's love here. And whereas I think you, the cards I'm getting for you are like, in your thoughts, yeah, we're soulmates. Yeah, there's a lot not said here. There's also a lot of passion. There's a lot of feelings, but I don't think I'm willing to put, this is like a worth, you know, a self-worth 
declaration almost, I feel, from this four of wands. So I don't think I'm willing to stake my stability and build a foundation on something that the energy that the blue gray is giving me here with this goddess of the moon is very much about it feels like I, the blue gray always makes me think of the whale and the whale card we had it a few days ago or yesterday I don't know and it's like yeah, this magnificent, huge, and it's interesting that I mentioned the ocean over here, but it's like this, this magnificent beast, this huge, huge thing comes to the surface and shows itself, but just as fast it can disappear into the depths and it can stay down there a long, long time. And I really have no control over when it comes, when it goes, and how far away from me it goes. And that leaves my feelings in a void, kind of. That leaves me feeling stranded and trapped without this ability to transform. The only thing I really can transform is myself. And I feel like you've done that to a degree, to the degree that you can right now this has been processed and probably what is shifting this energy for you. You both have magician in reverse. You both are feeling, and, and I would say the five of cups and death has a similar vibe, death reversed, where let me think here. You know, it's so interesting that this, this card says gliding along common goal, soul family, there's movement and motion in here. And so does this card. And often I see that there's a cross between the one counterpart's thoughts and one counterpart's feelings. And I almost get this sense with these coins here, you know, I counted them once and there were 11 and Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, eleven. And he has to carry one. But I almost sense that this is like the chakras, right? We see this here too, which is always like the chakras to me, feeling each other's energy. Like you may have been very, very tired recently or run down or like your mind didn't really want to think anymore about anything um that's just the energy I'm getting off that card and part of it's like this I just can't do this anymore like almost a feeling of like, I can't make something out of nothing anymore. And you may or may not identify with that particular feeling because I feel like that is pretty advanced to where this is going. But it's like, you want a reciprocation and it's not coming and though there is reciprocated sadness and there is reciprocated desire for movement he wants some of the same things you want now what I don't see him being able to achieve is the stability that you seem to be seeking. I don't, I feel like you don't want him to ride in and out and you don't want him to show up and then get triggered and leave. And you don't want, it's almost like I feel here a star reversed energy. 
because There's a hopelessness around manifesting. Even if you come back together, what can we really have here? Now, he, so in between you, there is this desire for stability, for movement, right? All three cards really show me a movement of sorts, even the wheel, but not really going in the right direction. A six of swords reversed is a nice card of return. And I really feel like you're saying return to what exactly? Like they're kind of showing me this. It's just on the bottom of this deck. I haven't dealt it, but return to what? What are we returning to? You know, the first thing that comes through in my mind is so you can make me promises that you can break again or you can not share your feelings with me or you can promise me the world and not deliver it. There's a lot of things coming through here and whatever it is for you will be like you're like, yeah, I do have love, but I also have self-worth now, a lot of it. And you're not going to ride in and break my heart just because it feels easy for you. And I'm not, you're not, I don't feel like this is manipulative. I feel like you're truly, oh wow. Playfulness again. I feel like you're not that attracted to his lack of look at that. Love yourself first and then requited love in reverse and free yourself. Again, that card in reverse. I feel like you're not attracted to his immaturity, to his inability to They're drawing my attention to the word purposeful, but like, uh, there's part of you that kind of realizes it's in your own responsibility to create the safety for yourself and the boundary that you need. And this, this is going to be one of the things that kind of draws this back to you, I feel like. So we have calling your soulmate, let go of control issues. It's safe for you to love very soon. Codependency and reverse playfulness. There's a big emphasis here on playfulness and him, especially on his side, where he is wanting to reconnect with your inner child. And I've been feeling this now for a couple days. It's like a very big desire for that, that unguarded joy. It says to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And then we have past life relationship in reverse. This could be the one unrequited love in reverse and so love yourself first. You know, I do want to say you guys may be getting over this fear of rejection. I think you're feeling over it. And I think he is getting there. But it may still partially be there for him. You know, it's so interesting how she's so in the light and he's so in the dark and there's still shadow there for him. And I do feel like 
part of him really wonders and wants to provide stability, which means a lot of different things, right? There's emotional, physical, financial, material. Um, even mental stability, and that may be challenging for him as I see in his thoughts that there's fluctuation. Um, and sometimes he's very inspired and sometimes he's very rigid or traditional. And it's more in his feelings that he can accept that this is cosmically, divinely guided his thoughts, there's resistance there still. But that being said, there's a strong feeling that you are different than everyone else, very different. And he's not really sure what to do with that information at this time. Like I said here, the Ten of Cups reversed, it's that he knows he can't really give you what you want or what you deserve right now. It's more about deserve than want, I think. I don't think you're the one saying you might want it, but part of you is fighting it. And conflicted about it as well. He seems to be more content just living in a fantasy world. And you have four, four here and you're like, and four, 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 four here. And that's really about building a house of bricks. You know, I'm not sure why that is so, it's really coming through here. but there are parts of you that feel a lot too. And I think you've been trying to go away from them. Let's see what these have to say. Can you give us more guidance? Our thoughts, feelings, and actions, and how and what will come into play soon. That's the one I saw when I picked it up. See? Desert Prince, survival, false promises. It's exactly what I said. I don't think you're worried necessarily about survival, but I do think you're worried. See, it has this pillar, just like the Four of Wands. I do think you want to build something a lot more, a lot stronger. And again, with this lion, we've had the lion show up a couple times. Lady of the Mirror, reflection, non-judgment. Hmm. The winged wise ones, angelic help and miraculous aid. The wise woman of Wonderland. Look at it, two wise, integrity and compromise. The horse king, assistance and control. So we did have let go of control issues, shadow queen. And I did mention the shadows. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation. Okay, I'm gonna do three in between you two too. Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect of another four. Lady of the gift. That's one of my favorite cards here. Dreamwalker. Generosity, receiving, withholding, dreams, the collective good, and illusions. The spiral dancer, circuitous root and perception. Hitting the mark, intention, detachment, obsession, scarcity, consciousness, and attachment. So you have detachment and attachment. Ooh, ooh. I feel like that reinforces a lot of what I said. Now, what I do find most interesting is 
his feelings coming up as integrity and compromise. And this near future coming up as acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. I do not like that card there. <clears throat> um, it gives me a very big pause to wondering what his intentions are. <clears throat> and if they're honest, and if they're actually reliable is the word coming through. So I would be quite aware of the your illusion of control here because he may try to manipulate that you changed me law of gestation Cancer energy, healing. That's interesting. Lemurian energy, imagination. This is intense. Sacred geometry. And we have coins. We're a lot alike. Platinum, Scorpio, Pluto. How could you want me? That's what was on the top. And then we have Taurus, Rat, Dreams of You. He may have some ulterior motive. But what I really see here is that he sees somehow that you fit together. And that part of what has happened has really changed both of you. Now, I do feel like he knows you believe that this is an important relationship in your life. And he could possibly, even if he feels the same way, use that to his advantage. I don't see completely selfless or very pure intentions on his side. That being said, I don't necessarily see the worst intentions, but there does seem to be something behind it all. He is somewhat confused by the way this all fits together. And there may be a desire to alchemize some of this. And it may be because you've done a lot of healing or, you know, your feelings are kind of, the truth of your feelings is kind of drawing him in and it may be that you have healed some of your attachment issues here and that you are a little bit more able to detach. And that's not something you can really manipulate. You know what I'm saying? It happens as a byproduct of work where you're not letting external things validate you so much so let's get some of these cards and we'll start the yeah that's kind of my feeling here is that he is a little he kind of prays although we have not again on the bottom of the deck the fairness which is a good sign i think um libra energy where
This says, the romantic strings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. And his says, unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring, bold. Freya, which is like the goddess of Friday. Ugh. And then we have express yourself through creative activities here in the middle. With the swan and then the foot in the lotus. So that looks more like a duck. Interesting cards. You know, I do feel like your heart's sort of a beacon to him right now. And he feels quite drawn to expression. But I don't know that there's a plan behind it. And you're more in the plan. Planning stage. Hello and goodbye. Well, imagine. A lot of imagination on his side. A lot of fantasy. You know, we had that misty green card that Babylon. Tap into imagination. It says it's time to let go of anger and blame for you. For him, true friends stick together no matter what. And then don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. Like... This isn't all your problem to solve, you know? And I don't think that all of these are facing towards the future here. I don't think you're going to solve this, any of it, in one conversation. And yet you can still honor this true love vibration that you're in, which is a very beautiful vibration. Um... We have Venus on the bottom of the deck. So divine love here downloads an understanding. You have infinite abundance. Obstacles may are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. He has Paul of Venetian experiencing grace. Share your gifts with grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. And then hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognizing your divine worth. Choosing loving thoughts. I think through you really choosing that self-worth because I get a very beautiful energy <clears throat> on your side I think that this is just drawing him in past life dreams cycles bottom of the deck is animals chrysotile so he is being drawn to you through this you know, your your heart emanation, but also through dreams, through spirit. Oh my God, you have such powerful cards. Wow. Bottom of the deck is earth and water dragon. So you have the source dragon. Uh, attunes you to the infinite. Be still in silence. Magic can happen, be in the moment. He has the Alpha Dragon, harnesses the Divine Masculine power of creation. And actually, there was another Divine Masculine card, so Nunos was the next one on that deck. Um, destroy the old, visualize the dream, and help to manifest a new world. And that may be, and he has the quill, right? Two of the dragons have a quill in their talon. That may be what's coming in, is that you... And not, and I'm not giving you advice on what to do, but I feel a reticence in your vibration that's like, yeah, this is what I wanted, but am I willing to go through that cycle again, right? Or have I learned some things for this next go around? Works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service. When you give, you receive. I do think that's what this is about is you deciding because you really have a tremendous amount of like power in your hands and power only comes to those so i'm going to say a controversial statement but there's a huge difference between power and force true power only comes to those with responsibility you know, the responsibility to use it wisely. Only time will tell. 
life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life. We create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You'll be surprised where it leads. I honestly think that's more for you. But he may be drawn to just flow towards you. And you may be very surprised at how natural this power feels to you now that you're in this vibration and it's quite beautiful imagine all the wanted thoughts dissolving into light creating room for new opportunities and possibilities in your life and this may cause look at power you instinctively know what is right for you but i think you instinctively know what's right you have the power to say no or walk away at any time. Don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do, for it's only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. There's a real call for you to practice a new level of authenticity and speaking, though this reading <clears throat> did not focus on throat chakra. I feel it strongly that that will be, you know, I don't believe in tests, but I do believe that that will be the next kind of opportunity for you to make that choice between that that high road and that low road right <clears throat> and that you'll soon find although i mean lapis lazuli is that blue color it's also the past life um the draw on all areas of your knowledge and your power to help make the best decision for you. I hope I've brought you clarity and understanding. And I really feel like this is a very interesting reading um, with new, it feels like very new energy coming in. Um, we had two cards of sacred geometry. Very interesting. All right. Bye for now. Lots of love.